Kilimanjaro, the backdrop to a mystery that has baffled many people. This particular mystery was immortalized by writer Ernest Hemingway. In his 1936 short story, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, Hemingway wrote, Kilimanjaro is a snow-covered mountain 19,710 feet high and is said to be the highest mountain in Africa. Its western summit is called the House of God. Close to the western summit, there is a dried and frozen carcass of a leopard. No one has explained what the leopard was seeking at that altitude. Was this fiction or fact? Did a leopard really climb atop Kilimanjaro? Located in Tanzania, just south of the Kenyan border, Kilimanjaro is Africa's tallest mountain. The summit of the mountain is Kibo, which is one of the three major volcanic cones. At around 19,341 feet, the Kibo Peak is the highest point in Africa. In 1889, a German geographer, Hans Mayer, and another mountaineer successfully ascended the Kibo Peak. Once atop the mountain, Hans discovered something strange, a dead body of an antelope. He speculated that the animal probably used the same path as themselves, but got caught in a fury of a mountain storm and paid with its life the penalty of its adventurous curiosity. But there's more. According to some sources, at the saddle of Kibo Amawenzi, Mayer saw the remains of a leopard. 37 years later, a missionary and explorer by the name of Richard Roosh finds a leopard too. At around 18,500 feet, Richard discovered the freeze-dried remains of a leopard. Since the discovery, the location has been dubbed as Leopard's Point. A photo taken in 1926 shows the frozen leopard. But how did it end up in the snowfields of Kilimanjaro? What was it seeking at such an altitude? Normally, the only relatives that roam such heights are found in mountain ranges of Central and South Asia. For instance, in the Himalayas, snow leopards live in elevations up to 18,000 feet. Though they are referred to as leopards, they are more closely related to tigers than leopards. Hence, they are not classified with the other leopard subspecies. Back in Africa, a year or so later, Richard Roosh climbed Kilimanjaro again. The contorted body of the leopard was still there. However, this time he cut off a piece of the leopard's ear as a souvenir. Afterwards, the remains of the leopard mysteriously disappeared. So, what was the leopard doing there? According to Richard, he also discovered a body of a goat nearby. He speculated that the goat was seeking the salt flats on top and the leopard followed the antelope. Richard's conclusion was that they both got caught in a snowstorm. This wasn't the last time that Kilimanjaro offered strange sightings. In 1962, British writer Wilfred Thesiger and several others climbed the mountain. At about 16,000 feet, Wilfred saw a pack of five wild dogs at Hans Mayer Point. After following Wilfred and his friends about 300 meters to Uru Peak, the wild dogs disappeared over a crest and were not seen again. But as for the leopard of Kilimanjaro, one can only speculate why it ascended the mountain. To date, the frozen carcass of the leopard is still one of Kilimanjaro's mysteries.